Yo, what's going on guys? Hanging Hunt on Doors here. My name is Dimitri. And in today's video, we're going to be making the most in-depth guide for building the most accurate arrows. Are you guys ready? Let's get into it. Alright guys, so real quick before we start, I just want to mention this is going to be broken up into a couple of different parts. So this right here is part one. So with that being said, let's go ahead and jump into it. So why it matters. One of the biggest variables in archery, other than the shooter and the bowstring, is the arrows. They are the uh, projectiles of the bow, and they're constantly shot out of your bow and constantly impacting your target. Alright, I have one of my arrows here just to demonstrate. Arrow spine consistency determines how consistent the flex is in the spine when rotating the arrow in any direction, how consistent that spine uh, flex is. Arrow spine consistency can cause a lot of up, down, left, and right variations in your groups when you're shooting. The straightness of your arrow, so how straight it is from end to end, more often than not, it's going to really um, affect you in a hunting situation if you're using a fixed blade broadhead. Now, moving on from that, speed is also a very key part to your arrow builds. So a hunting arrow that's moving too fast, that can cause a lot of um, left, right, up, down, and um, arrow flight consistency issues. A 3D arrow moving too slowly, uh, if you were to misjudge the target by just a few yards, you could shoot directly under it or directly above it based on the trajectory of your arrow because it's moving too slow. So with all that being said, building arrows properly suited for your application is a crucial, crucial part of minimizing um, variables in archery. So with all that being said, now that you know why it matters, if any of you guys have dealt with the problems that I just mentioned or others, um, stay tuned because we're going to go into a very, very, very in-depth guide showing you um, everything you're going to need to know to build your arrows. So now step one is going to be where to start. The first step in uh, figuring out how to build your arrows is going to be what application you plan to shoot your arrows in. You're going to need to figure out whether you plan on going hunting, whether you plan on shooting target, or whether you plan on shooting 3D. Or if you're doing all both, this is going to be a great video because I'm actually going over building arrows to do exactly that. Um, my arrows are going to be jack of all trade arrows, so I plan to shoot them for all of archery. But if you guys are just looking for specifics, we also have that in this guide. So. What we need to do first is we actually need to figure out all the information um, and details about your bow. Things like IBO speed rating, draw weight, draw length, the let off, and um, the weight of your peep sight D loop. Now I know that that can kind of be hard uh, to measure, uh, but just give or take if I were to toss you a number, it's probably right around the four to five grain mark. Okay, so once you have all those things figured out, you want to write them down on a piece of paper or something, and then you're going to want to go over to a computer and check out this website. So this website is called archerycalculator.com. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to go there, and then you're going to fill in all the information about your bow. Then what you're going to do is you're going to uh, look at the arrow weight section. You'll be able to punch your own number into this. Uh, what you're going to do is you're going to start with a decent arrow weight, uh, your desired arrow weight, or something that, that appeals to you. Now what this is going to do is it's going to spit you out a bunch of different speeds of the arrow depending on the weight that you put in. Based off of your application, there can be target speeds for each application. So for example, a good deer hunting arrow or a target arrow is around 275 feet per second plus or minus five. That's gonna give you a good arrow that's gonna be very um, stable in flight, which is what you need for hunting for a fixed blade broadhead. It's on the slower side, so um, the trajectory is gonna be a little worse and uh, you're gonna have to account for that. But in a hunting situation, you're gonna be range finding your, your deer the whole time or range finding trees so that you know the distances and stuff um, and then in a target situation it kind of doesn't matter you're just gonna you know dial your bow in for 20 yards 30 yards 56 yards whatever it is that your um, target competition is shooting and then you're gonna be able to shoot that day in and day out and you don't really have to adjust or account for any um, yardage variation and a good 3d arrow is going to be around 290 feet per second plus or minus five uh, the reason why I say that is because um, it's just going to have a much flatter trajectory, meaning that you can misjudge yardage by a few yards and you're still going to be uh, relatively close to the 12 ring or whatever you're aiming at, where if it was moving slower, you might be completely off and out of the uh, vital zone of a 3D target. Or if it's really slow, you might actually uh, 
bury your arrow in the dirt. And then for me, uh, like the arrows that I'm gonna be building, these right here are jack of all trade arrows. So I'm gonna be shooting 3D target and I'm going to hunt with these things. Um, you know, not ideal for everybody if you're really serious about the sport. Uh, whether that's target 3D or hunting, I would recommend that you, um, you know, really stick to what you're trying to accomplish and not make arrows for everything if you don't plan on shooting everything. But um, yeah, a good jack of all trade arrow is going to be around 280 to 285 feet per second, plus or minus five feet per second. The reason why I say that is because um, in a 3D scenario, that speed is really killer. And then in a target and hunting scenario, it can't be blazing uh, fast because it will destabilize the front of that arrow as it flies. So with that being said, those are the speeds that I would recommend. Obviously, this is preference. If you guys, you know, have a different, you know, way of doing things that has worked for you for years, go for it. Um, this is just from my experience, what I found to work best. Now, with that being said, now that we have our desired speed um, and you figure out a speed that you want or you're going based off of my recommendation, what you're going to do is you're going to go over to that arrow weight field on that website and you're going to punch in um, weights until you hit roughly the target speed that we're looking for. So for me, as you can see here, I believe it's around 470 to 480 um, grains. So now once we have the arrow weight figured out, we're gonna consider this our target arrow weight so that when we're building our arrows, uh, we're gonna try to calculate and get as close as possible to that number. Um, now this isn't like, you know, make it or break it. It can be a little off and have a little bit of variance, but uh, we're going to try to get as close as possible to this number. Now that we have our target weight figured out and um, the necessary speed that we're going to need and that we're trying to achieve, uh, that's pretty much going to wrap up this video. In the next video, we're going to be showing you guys how to choose an arrow shaft based on your application. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure that you stay tuned and get subscribed because it's going to be uh, a pretty long and definitely an in-depth one. So if you guys are interested in that, get subscribed. And thank you guys so much for watching. Ciao.